Mirror neurons are parts of our brain where I talked about this probably about nine months ago where I explained that they are in our prefrontal cortex, which is the part of our brain that separates our beings from all of the other species on Earth. Uh, monkeys have them, but uh, humans have a higher density and a higher reliance of our survival based on them. Uh, we, we learn by watching other people. Uh, this part of the watching and then interpreting, decoding what that really means has to do with our mirror neurons. As, um, as you look at uh, children that play house, uh, this uh, playing house is something they're doing by watching. They've seen this. Uh, you don't say, here's the rules to play house. Children learn to do this by watching. And really what they're, they're figuring out is they are imitating um, precedes their understanding. They don't know why they do it. Uh, when, when Nana says she grew up on a farm and both of her fa family had chronic disease for every memory she has, uh, what I don't have to ask but know is their family had lots of starchy potato processed food uh, pastries, 21st century delicious sweet foods. Dad was overweight, mom was overweight, um, and then this poor young firstborn female was put in an environment where the only foods that she was going to uh, have excess of was the ones she was eating from around her. She imitated before she understood. Uh, and as she continued on, that behavior got challenged as an adult, like other people did it differently, at which point she needed to reflect like, well, I like the taste of my homemade jam. I enjoy making this with my mother. I, I feel comforted when I have potatoes. But then there comes a point where you say, all right, how much comfort? And how much should you be getting rid of? So there's a, public, a study published in 2005 which looks at um, when, when someone was under a functional MRI, they were watching to see what their mirror neurons could could uh, um, predict. Uh, so they were watching, they had a teacup that was sitting on the table. The teacup, uh, the person would reach for the teacup and before they would stop the video and say, what is the person gonna do with a teacup? And people with a strong uh, engagement of their mirror neurons could predict very accurately, like it was not, not a little bit of a study. It was a huge shift to say, these people with active uh, mirror neurons could say, are they going to drink the tea or are they clearing the table of a teacup? And the way the movement of that hand, it's not a lot of uh, imagery, uh, they could decide, are they gonna drink it or are they gonna clear it? And there's, again, there's no rule book that you learn that from. It is something in your mind that says, hey, we're associating that. You don't understand how you know it, you just know it. And that's what mirror neurons are. So again, m m uh, Nana's trying to change her behavior. Uh, as an adult, she's learning that some of the things she imprinted as a child probably aren't the safest or aren't the best way to live her life. She now has these kids and grandkids that are imprinting the next generation and much like Grandma Rose and her um, Mary Poppins uh, spirit, she wants to say, hey, I need to, I need to change the course. Don't copy me. I did it wrong. I was taught wrong. Uh, I like to call this wisdom, but it's actually through your mirror neurons that you figure this out. You reflect and say, what, uh, what did I do wrong? All right, so her mirror neurons. Uh, the several things that she's learning through her mirror neurons is she's learning to watch others succeed and fail. Again, in the course, uh, I go through this really, one of my missions for the course was to say, take this course, be a leader of your own support group, um, because what you're trying to teach other people, you didn't know you didn't know, and you're trying to explain something that as a child you learned and you imitated, and now as an adult, someone's saying, I want you to eat high fat. <laughs> and it breaks every rule. It blows your mind saying, what are you talking about? This is a lot of fat. You mean high protein, right? I'm like, no, I need you to eat high fat. I need you to eat high fat for two more weeks. If you're failing, I need you to reset with high fat. And so again, this this is a concept that patients and people have a difficult time appreciating until their mirror neurons as an adult start to copy behavior. And the fastest way to learn that is in a small group. <laughs> it is in a small group. Um, the other thing that she's doing for her mirror neurons is she's charting herself. Again, in the show notes is a free download. It is super cool. You can thank Patrick V for this. And it is not something you can print. <laughs> if you want to 
printed, there's a, yeah, don't, don't ask me to print it. Uh, there, there is a spreadsheet that is meant to put your numbers in and it is amazing what you can do. I bet as Nana watches this video, she is looking at her numbers and might not have slowed down enough to study them as well as I just did. Pointing out the morning fasting ones, looking what those are doing, watching the trend that there's something brewing inside her chemistry for nine months as she waits. And had I been spot on her physician, you know, in person, I would have made her do this fat challenge much earlier in her story. Um, but either way, uh, maybe it, her body wouldn't have been ready because as you ask people to change their social rules, which are what neural, mirror neurons are doing, again, you're watching the waitress come up to a, a, a teacup and you can see, yeah, she's going to pick up the teacup for clearing the table. But your mirror neurons would only need to capture a hand from just picking up the teacup and they still know there's something about that behavior that you weren't taught, but you can see that's a lady who's cleaning, who's picking up the teacup. That's not a lady who's about to drink the tea. And uh, as you study other people's behavior, that reflection in your own world has to come with how do you change the course? So as Nana charted herself, and I got the privilege of studying this and saying, oh, here's what happened. And now look what happened in April. And now, unfortunately, she's so far into this, you just pray her little, your heart out that she doesn't give up because she finally, she writes in and says, I know I had a kidney stone, but I can't tell you how good I feel. <laughs> like if this is a kidney stone, I'm telling you, more people need kidney stones. I mean, she heard it was awful. It was terrible when the kidney stone was passing, but she's like, overall, I just feel so good. And that's another way that I am confident. That's how norepinephrine rises. That's how your, um, these fat-based hormones, your estrogen, your progesterone, your pregnenolone, all these hormones built from fat are starting to percolate. And that's how we feel good. That's how you have energy. That's how you have autophagy. Uh, all right, we got a couple more that she's she's unpacking one change at a time. That's why I said even if Nana lived next to me and she was in my patient population in my town, I might not have pushed her to do anything except the way she did it because asking people to change 15 things at the beginning, it, it explodes the process. You really can't get them to uh, extrapolate which one is more important than the other. You get a behavior change, you stabilize the world around you, and then you say, okay, can I hold tight on this? And again, in that uh, course, it's meant to take people uh, leading a small group, using these videos to say, you don't, you can peck around on YouTube for about, I don't know, four solid weeks and still not find the sequential bullet point information to say, how do you do this and not screw it up? And that's really what Nana learned in those uh, th four weeks of watching that course. And the last thing is you just need to give her praise that she didn't give up, that that's a long time to wait for some outcomes. And um, unfortunately, her body really has uh, been beat up a little bit for waiting this long. Uh, but it isn't too late. Let's remind you that Grandma Rose, uh, 71 uh, at the beginning of the story, 76 now. And if you're looking for inspiration and say, ah, I just don't know if I can do this again, uh, or you're you see someone who needs inspiring. This story is the inspirational story. The next book is gonna be a much more how-to. I am using a, a story to teach it, um, but it's the most compelling story is when I write about my mom. All right, uh, let's do one more here. So the last thing I like to point out is that, yeah, that, uh, that happy, successful patient is it's not Nana, but she's probably feeling that much better. Like again, energy and happy. And it is in the context of adding a support group because that is where we know the best engagement of mirror neurons are. And it, it is interesting when we look at that behavior change you're watching. As an adult, there are different ways that uh, behavior change matters. The one that I do not minimize is watching people make a mistake that you are making that you can't see yourself making until that person does it. And again, that's a very deep cognitive issue. I think it's wisdom. You can call it mirror neurons, but again, the, as you have a few trips around the sun, you start to say, oh, you know, I, I do that. I, and I see them doing it, but when I do it, I think it's okay, but I can see that they're doing it and I probably shouldn't do that. And those are the kind of moments that you find at support groups. Uh, so you don't even have to talk. You can just observe if you're introverted and don't want to you get a lot out of these things just watching. 
please subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to click the notification bell so you don't miss out on any new videos. Stay tuned.